So I'm going to show you how to create this twisting call in Blender. For this shot, I wanted to create a feeling of mystery and dreamlike surrealism for our character. So let's get into Blender. Okay, so I've modeled a piece of a hall here. It's quite simple as you can see, very basic modeling. If I just go into edit mode, you can see it's very low poly as well. And this is going to form the basis of our hallway. Okay, so once you've got your, your hallway, come into the modifiers and give it the ray modifier. Okay, I need to switch this to be on the y-axis. Okay, now we've got two pieces of hallway. I'll just crank this up, crank it up to 50. We've got this super, super long hallway. Okay, right, now we're going to, let's position our camera to find a nice position for our camera. Okay, that gives us our camera more or less in position. Let's see if we can straighten that up a little bit. Let's go to zero on that axis and zero here. Okay, so that's looking straight down our hallway now. Okay, excellent. So now really to create the twisting effect, again, we'll go into the modifiers. I'm gonna add in a deform modifier. And it's just going to be simple deform and we get this crazy thing going on that looks awesome but it's not what we're after so we need to change it to y and then you can see hopefully you can see that that's beginning to twist our hallway okay so now we can control the twist in the hallway just using this value here so if i crank that up to 360 you can see now we've got a nice twisted hallway Okay, so you can also use the origin here and this controls the origin of the twist. So I'm gonna add in an empty. So if we just come to, to an empty, let's get back here. We'll just set that to the empty we've created. So if I now move this empty along the hallway, I can control where the twist begins, which is very, very helpful. You could have your character at the position of the empty or actually use your character as the, the origin point for the twist and you get a really nice, really nice effect. Okay, so to animate the twist, you simply need to set a keyframe. So let's just set a keyframe here just by pressing I over the angle, let's come forward Let's come forward just 100 frames and we'll go to 360. Let's uh, move that empty back, back to the front. There we go. Let's look down our camera and you can see now, if I just press play on the timeline, you get this really nice twisting hallway effect. In the, in the in the shot, I had some clocks on the wall. Um, so basically, to to achieve the clocks moving with the hall, I, I quite simply just um, I I simply keyframed the beginning location and the finishing location, and then just tweaked it in the graph editor to make it match. Um, that was a nice easy solution. And this is the final shot from my animated film Time. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe. Bye bye.